Welcome to our daily devotional series, The Daily Herald. I pray that these messages will come to you as an encouragement and a reminder to be heralds of the Lord daily. God bless you. Center of the Sacrificial System March 8 God was in Christ reconciling the world to himself, not imputing their trespasses to them, and has committed to us the word of reconciliation. 2 Corinthians 5.19 While the Savior's death brought an end to the law of types and shadows, it did not in the least detract from the obligation of the moral law. On the contrary, the very fact that it was necessary for Christ to die in order to atone for the transgression of that law proves it to be immutable. Those who claim that Christ came to abrogate the law of God, to do away with the Old Testament, speak of the Jewish age as one of darkness, and represent the religion of the Hebrews as consisting of mere forms and ceremonies. But this is an error. All through the pages of sacred history, where the dealings of God with his chosen people are recorded, there are the burning traces of the great I Am. Never has he given to the sons and daughters of humanity more open manifestations of his power and glory than when he alone was acknowledged as Israel's ruler and gave the law to his people. Here was a scepter swayed by no human hand, and the stately goings forth of Israel's invisible king were unspeakably grand and awful. In all these revelations of the divine presence, the glory of God was manifested through Christ, not alone at the Savior's advent, but through all the ages after the fall and the promise of redemption. God was in Christ reconciling the world to himself. 2 Corinthians 5.19 Christ was the foundation and center of the sacrificial system in both the patriarchal and the Jewish age. Since the sin of our first parents, there has been no direct communication between God and humanity. The Father has given the world into the hands of Christ, that through his mediatorial work, he may redeem men and women and vindicate the authority and holiness of the law of God. All the communication between heaven and the fallen race has been through Christ. It was the Son of God that gave to our first parents the promise of redemption, It was he who revealed himself to the patriarchs, Adam, Noah, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, and Moses understood the gospel. Further reflection. If God made such careful provision for my salvation, reconciling me to himself through Christ, what can I do to make sure that I do not squander so great a salvation? 